details about the innocent young man who was shot in the head and killed during a game. The gunfire happening soon after school let out at a playground in Brownsville. I was news reporter Lucy Yang, live at the scene where New York cops still trying to figure out who did this. Lucy. Well, that's right. The manhunt is on tonight for the gunman who shot into an open playground behind me and killed a 16-year-old boy who was innocently doing what he loved best, playing basketball. We spoke with his devastated family tonight. What I see is like my, my son is not returning. A father broken after losing his only son. He was supposed to get an, uh, an award in Columbia University by November 10. You know, be, you know, performing an uh, performing extraordinarily in the uh, academically. So, and um, they just you know shot him. His life. Everybody's crying, and I, he, when he called me, I don't know what to say. Sixteen-year-old Oluwadoro Timi Oibola was in his happy place, playing basketball with three friends on a warm Friday after school. When suddenly two shots were fired from the other end of Chester Playground in the Brownsville section of Brooklyn. We're told his friends ran for cover, and when they turned around, they saw him on the ground. Right now, we're just looking for uh, two males that were observed running away from the park. As far as their identity, uh, we don't have an identification on them. Timmy, as he was called, was a junior in high school. Tall, handsome, and smart. Officials say Timmy was shot in the head and died at the hospital. You can see others tending to him on the playground. Authorities believe he was an innocent victim of senseless gun violence. Even though the teenager lived in Jamaica, Queens, he attended a charter school in Brooklyn near this playground. The Brooklyn Ascend School issued this statement tonight, quote, Oluador Timmy's future was bright, and it is simply unfathomable that it was cut short so heinously. It's crazy. They said they heard shots and they ran, but his friend didn't get out fast enough. It's sad. We're just living by the grace of God. Timmy's family is from Nigeria. His father, a pastor, says Timmy did so much around the house, including helping his parents navigate paying their bills online. The pastor says he would always pray for other victims he heard about in the news, never anticipating that tonight it would be his son. We're live in Brooklyn. I'm Lucy Yang for Channel 7 Eyewitness News.